Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Spurs Talk Show. I'm Sean Butler from, obviously, the Spurs Talk Show. We're just after the end of a 2-1 victory, a hard-fought two victory. I've got James here, Tottenham fan. Are you a season ticket holder, James? No, just a one-off for my brother's birthday. Here for the day. How was your brother's birthday? Fantastic. Uh, boy, it finished better than it, it started. It, yeah. <laughs> the game was just so frustrating. I just felt like if we could have scored, I think we'd have rolled over them. Yeah. And I, I just had a sneaky feeling they're going to do one of those specials where they score. Yeah. And then it's it's problems. I've got to be honest, I've got a lot of respect for Sheffield United's tactics today. Obviously, as a Tottenham fan, yeah. I don't personally appreciate the fact no. that their goalkeepers spent 20 minutes on the floor. Yeah. But I've got, I got to you know, pay a little bit of respect to Cameron Archer and McBurney up the top. Yeah. Well, wonderful in the air. What did you think about the Sheffield United today? It, they're spoiler tactics, so they're not going to come here and go toe-to-toe with us. So they, they've done what they needed to do. Um, and yeah, I mean, it worked a treat up until about the hundredth minute. <laughs> Uh, before we get on to Tottenham, James, yeah. the referee. Awful. He was terrible, like, really terrible. And that is, I was trying to stand back from it. Terrible, just booking Spurs players for the sake of it. He didn't want to book that keeper because right. he already had a card. Yeah. And he was just wasting time. It was ridiculous. It all unfolded, unfortunately, for, well, unfortunately for us, but unfortunately for Sheffield United. They got their goal. They were looking for a 1-0 win. Yeah. Um, as Postacoglu makes three changes. Yeah. I guess you could call them not controversial but interesting ones. Sonny gets taken off. Yeah, I was surprised. Solomon that. gets taken off. Perisic was good when he came on, wasn't he? He's Talk got a me. wand of a foot. He's got a wand. Like I mean, that pass right at the end. He's just a quality player. Let me ask you this: Is is the Perisic? Perisic is wonderful at crossing, right? James? I wish we had him at thirty. Of course, of course. You know, I wish I had. Britney Spears when she was 18 rather than 30. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, everyone gets a little bit less yeah. desirable with age. But what I would ask you, mate, is Perisic's crossing is wonderful, but only if you've got... Someone in the box. Who can head the ball. Yeah. So if you're going to bring Perisic off the bench, does that relegate Richarlison to being a double substitution going forward? Going with him, yeah. That's a good idea. It's a good Because Richie, I mean, he, he gives it his all. Maybe this will kickstart his season. I hope it does. A goal and an assist. The yeah. best possible outcome after acknowledging him and having... I thought Brennan Johnson was all right as well, wasn't he? I thought Brennan Johnson, to be honest, when he scored the goal, obviously I was in the south stand, so it's difficult to see whether yeah. he, how offside he was, but he's the second fastest player in the Premier League. Yeah, he doesn't, doesn't need to go, doesn't need to be offside. A big surprise as well is Solomon. I think he's class. It's just like, he likes to take people on, in, in and out, in and out. I thought Kulu today was great. Yep. Outstanding. James, what was it that, that, that was frustrating? Why couldn't we break them down for the first 80 minutes, in your opinion? Because we didn't have Harry Kane. That's what it was. That's the I difference. It's a striker, yeah. yeah. It's like, but you know, he's doing his thing now. But yeah, it's, it's just a striker, an out and out striker. I think in January, I think we're going to need someone. Because days like today, they're one offs, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, 100%. In terms of January, I mean, not, I mean, I, just a more. We'll yeah. talk about January for the, as the conversation's gone that way. What is the absolute priority? Is it a centre back to sit behind? It just, just. You I'll, know. I'll have another centre half, um, and I'll have a, a number nine. We need a number nine. That's what we need. I think everywhere else is fine. A doggy is outstanding. Porro did well today. Van der Ven's quality. Romero. I think we've got the nucleus of a side that with two additions in January, I think top four. I think we'll make top four. The only thing that worries me about Van der Ven, I think today he was an absolute Rolls Royce with the ball on the floor. First half, I thought he was exceptional. Yeah. But I think a bit slow, Sheffield, Sheffield United targeted him. McBurney was up against him. The number nine won absolutely everything in the air. Yeah. Won absolutely everything Every in the air. from their keepers to that, that target, man, wasn't it? Right. And that to me is a worry because he is six foot four. McBurney's a big He should tough, be strong. dominating, shouldn't he? Well, he shouldn't, he shouldn't be dominated, is what yeah. my concern. Yeah. And uh, McBurney is obviously a, is an old old school target man type of player. But look, I mean, th- what do you think of James Madison? I, I thought James Madison was a little bit off it today. He, he yeah, still looked tricky. Yeah, some of his passing, but he's got such quick feet. Yeah. And he, 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 I think he's, I think he's better than Ericsson, personally. I don't disagree with you. My last question, though, is the result. I think we all obviously were expecting a better um, performance, maybe a better yeah. like end scoreline. We got the three points, yeah. but for me, James, I'm a little bit concerned whether or not the result is going to paper over some of the cracks Possibly. because today was a bit of a tougher com- a tougher contest than we probably thought. But Spurs in the past, you know yourself, we lose that game one nil. How many times right. have we dominated a side and we'll lose one nil? We showed heart, courage today. Probably papers over the cracks. But what we're in, we're a month into this project, yep. and I'm, I'm 
I'm really looking forward to it. This is our best start since 65, 66. Uh, I, I miss it. My dad was my dad was alive back then. He reminds me about yeah. those days, the Halcyon era. Yeah. Are we are we on the cusp of something great here? Is it is the biggest test coming in six days time, seven yeah, days of time? It is, yeah. If we get anything out of that, and I don't think it's impossible because I don't think they're playing that great, are they? No. We've just got to get. Uh, we've won there what once with that Eunice Cabal one. Yeah. We need, yeah, we just need to go then. Just give it to them. And if we do, do you reset expectations for the or for what you hope for the season? What are your expectations right now? What I've were what were they in May? Um, previous, I thought we were going to have a bad season. I thought we were going to be about eighth, ninth. I watched this last couple of times, and I thought, I, I think we're onto something there. So what? And so, we're so, not so missing Kane like I thought we would miss Kane. Yeah, I think he expected us to miss him a little bit more a little than bit we more, do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, good luck to the guy. He's a legend, but too focused on him. And now, you know, it's a new start. I think, yeah, I think top four. Top four this year? Top four cheeky FA Cup. Oh, I'd love to see it. James, uh, one last question before I let you go, yeah. mate. You haven't got a channel or anything, I, I suppose? No, 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 no. no. Um, are you on Twitter? No, but subscribe to you, um, Ben and Sim, uh, Brian Daigle. So you, know, you, know, you know the boys, you yeah, know the boys. Uh, guys, make a massive shout out in the comment section for James. Welcome into the community. James, I hope to get you on the channel or the panel show one day, mate. Top James, man. thank you so much. Cheers, Just quickly before you go, Arsenal result, what's that going to be? One on. One, one. No, I'll take that. I'll I take that. that. Cheers, James. Appreciate it. Nice one, mate. See you soon. There you go, guys. Uh, like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs. <laughs>